I've dabbled into the PTU for the first time since joining the verse and want to share real quick that 317 is promising to bring some really cool features. Here's three of them that I want to mention real quick. The first one being performance. Now I don't know if this is normal for the PTU, but it is running so much smoother than the PU and I really hope that these improvements make their way to the PU. Again, it's showing some really promising improvements that I'm really excited for. Number two is the MISC Hole A. The Hole A looks beautiful. I first saw it in one of the ISCs and was really impressed by the shape, but now it's here. And seeing it in the flesh, you can really see that with every ship CIG releases, the attention to detail, their so-called gold standard, is really improving and bringing each new ship to the next level. I love the look of this Hole A. I love the shape, how the wings sit on the hull, the big engine sticking out the back. The fact that it's got the typical beautiful chrome plated hull and the fact that it is practically an RV that can haul lots of cargo. I wouldn't mind making this my little cruise around ship, honestly. Now the coolest part of this all is that despite being a relatively small ship, the hull A demonstrates a flight model we haven't seen before on a ship of its size. And it is really funny that I should experience this just after talking about how we could improve hovering and VTOL on planets. Here's the really cool part about the Hull A. It has next to no lateral strafing capability. It outputs only a maximum of 0.5 Gs on the lateral axes, which means that it cannot sustain a hover when rolling on a planet with 1G of gravity, of course. And this is naturally enforced hover mode. This is what a MAV should be able to output. 0.5 Gs. It is nothing, and when you're flying fast, boy does it feel great. It really takes a different approach, but it's a ship with limitations. A ship where you have to think about how you position it to ensure you don't fall down to the planet. It's a wonderful feeling. Less is more. Looking at the other axes, if you push up with your strafe, so basically to hover, you can output 1.5 Gs it looks like, they're about maybe 1.9, it's uh, just enough to, to hover on a planet, uh, and then you've got a little bit left to spare. I really like it, it makes it feel more sluggish, of course, but I wouldn't mind if this was the go-to for non-racing ships. Alright, moving on then, number 3, with the improvements to network desync. Ship positions are incredibly accurate, allowing for all sorts of beautiful and accurate close proximity formation flying. We have never seen ships fly this close and have their position in the verse represented as accurately as this. You can get real close and have a good freaking time. And of course, naturally, this leads to all sorts of crazy stuff, like trying to refuel while moving. I have access to the Starfarer right now, and this was incredibly fun to try out. Unfortunately, right now, it appears that because you are moving, you cannot connect. And I would wholeheartedly urge CIG to improve upon this so that refueling on the go becomes a thing. As it should. Look at DCS. Look at real life military. We gotta. Hey, stop. Stop strafing. Sorry, there's a tower. We gotta go above it. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I saw that coming at me through your tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a bit lower, Maze. Lower. Good. Going with a bit of a pitch, so that's good. There, I think keep I found you guys. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you're in, you're in. Oh, two, 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 I'm two good. off. I'm, I'm Go good, off. I'm good. I cannot wait for 317 to hit the PU and put all of these impressive networking improvements to use while racing. This brings Star Citizen again to the next level. Less ghosting network collisions, here we come. Three, two, one. Off. 
Yo. Yo. Oh, this is so fucking dope. <laughs> I love how you guys are still gliding upwards and this thing's just falling like a fucking. <laughs> I saw that time. And the freelancer. <laughs> Yumi, Yumi's you know. all the way up still. It the freelancer you. apparently has good, like, freaking arrow profile. This razor <laughs> drops like a fucking brick. Well, I, the thing is with weight, isn't momentum a thing? Like it takes a bit yeah. longer to slow down bigger yeah. or more yeah. mass? 